Today we gather to remember the crew of Extortion 17. Although it's been close to two years since that tragic day in August, the memories are still fresh in the minds of many Colorado National Guard members. Close friends and senior leadership from the Colorado Guard paid their respects to two of their own at the Arlington National Cemetery grave marker bearing the name Extortion 17, the call sign for the Chinook piloted by CW5 David Carter and crewed by Staff Sergeant Patrick Hamburger, where some of their remains are commingled with others from that fateful flight. It's, it's just really an honor and a privilege to be here at Arlington today to remember Dave, to remember the crew of Extortion 17 and those Navy SEALs and the, and the PJs and, the, and even the working dog and our Afghan allies. That loss of life that day, again, the most significant loss we've suffered in Afghanistan. And, uh, it, and it caught the nation's memory. Even though Hamburger did not live in Colorado, he was still considered one of their own. Now, of the two, Mr. Carter was personally known to us as a member and a resident of the great state of Colorado. Sergeant Hamburger, attached, assigned to our unit, was from the great state of Nebraska, our neighbor. So we include them both today. As for Carter, some knew him all too well. We called him Twitchy because he was always drinking coffee. And as a true American, he, he changes with the times and goes to the energy drink. So we place a picture of Dave as we remember him and his favorite drink. He's one of those people that uh, would light up a room. You, you didn't even have to go and, and speak with him. You just see him across the room and his smile would uh, make everything better, no matter what you were doing. He was always the guy you'd look for, uh, for both professionally and, and personally, just to, just to say hi. Your day always got a little better. Colorado's Adjutant General and Senior Command Staff were in the nation's capital for their State of the State visit, which afforded them the opportunity to visit Arlington Cemetery and the group burial marker for Extortion 17. There's not a, there's not a day that goes by that I don't think about Dave Carter and his family. Laura, Kyle, and Caitlin and Elsie are in my prayers every day because I worry about them. And I think about it, and I know how much we miss Dave. I can only imagine how much they do. And while both Carter and Hamburger are interred in their home states, a small portion of their remains lie here at Arlington with the men they fought and died with. As uh, Colonel Petty said in his words, you know, when you die a warrior's death, you should be in a warrior's uh, cemetery, and Arlington is definitely that. Um, I think it's the right and proper area to be honored. At Arlington National Cemetery, this is Sergeant First Class Robert Stevenson reporting.